getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Now a pickoff play at second. Runners back. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And that'll play run number six. It's now a six to one ball game. Here's D. Gordon now. He's working on a one for three thus far. First offering on its way. And nobody's home. It's a base hit. Contreras rounds third and is digging for the plate. Now the relay home. And he will beat the tag. It's safe at the plate. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Spin and a throw back to second, and the runner back in standing. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. And that's going to fall for a base hit. The run scores from second. It's an 8-1 to one ball game. Oh, he couldn't have thrown no, that any better. Fastball one. inside jams Maybe. him, and he gets a nice yeah. bloop single to reward him. Wow. Standing in now, Sid Sis. Pitch outside, the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. A throw behind the runner at second, and he's back easily. And he'll turn and throw back to second again, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Runner goes for third. Oh, and he breaks, and they've got him picked off. One out and a runner on second base. Runner breaks for third. Now a bunt attempt here, but a foul ball, one and one. Getting a few steps off a second there, now the pitch. Oh, and he lays one down here, and this is going to be a tough play. Only play to first, so the sacrifice works that time. Well, you know, he had a good idea right there. The infield was playing back, but it's not going to work out for him this time. That's a nice play to react, and they take care of him at first. First pitch of the at-bat. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Pilar racing back. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. So this your Joel who will stay this in the ball game the as he'll take over at first base. Now playing Ready first once base. again, Dalton Number Pompey. Zero. He leads Joel off their half of the Kuhn. eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Hit to short. Turner has it. A quick out number one. 
Up next for the so you've got to figure he's got a good chance Second here to finish run. this one off. And Kevin. with that in mind, Robert. we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you see, he's Eight. right up there among league leaders Four in that department. Kevin. Devin Travis is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. And he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. A solo shot here to left. Number 10 for him on the year. And this lead has been cut to just six now. Well, when you're down a bunch of runs, you know the last thing they want to do is walk you. So right there, he picks on a good one to hit and plants it right over the wall. In now, Danny Acevedo. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Uh, he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Ready for another shot now. now Kevin Pillar. No Fielder. hits in three tries Kevin. so far. He struck Pilar. out once. Eight. A knee high sinker. Tough pitch. Strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And here's a ball hit in the air. Who is there and the side is retired. But a solo home run will at least get this closer to respectability. Ninth inning coming up from Rogers Center. It's the Mariners eight the Blue Jays two. Welcome back to MLB Network a shot there of the nighttime beauty of this terrific Canadian city. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Ken Griffey Jr. He went deep earlier and he's two for four to this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. How about him? Digging in and looking for more, Giancarlo Stanton. He's homered and doubled in four trips, so he's definitely been a factor. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw on to first takes care of him, and the top of the ninth is proving unfruitful thus far. Two quick outs here. Into the box now. Joel Koo. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Into the windup and the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Well, now's when he gets nasty. He's 0 and 2, and you know he's got five pitches in his arsenal to put him away. It's almost impossible for the hitter to sit on anything. Hit hard up the middle. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the speedy Trey Turner gets a chance following the base hit. This guy's such a good hitter. I get the now feeling even him. when he's down 0-2 in the count like he was Brandon. here, he's Turner. still actually ahead of the count when he's facing anybody. Into the box now, Trey Turner as he rips it on the ground to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Well two now outs they send the runner now it's Catcher. more to me a run and hit in this situation. Puts the ball in play gets the base hit. Now you got runners at first and third. Into the box, Wilson Contreras, swing and a liner, but foul. Runners on first and third, two away. Runner going a second time, hit down the third baseline. 
but this will wind up a foul ball strike two. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And now he's on the move again for second. Cabrera is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Takes a high fastball for a strike. And now the second pitch of the inning will be his 100th of the ball game. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Yeah, good luck. But, hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs nine. until there's a Turn. reason to start William. mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far in this one, and there was another good fastball for a strikeout there. Stepping in now, Ted Williams, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Softly hit out toward short. Throw on to first, and now the Jays are down to their final out. Now batting, number 25. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting outfielder, Hyunsoo Kim. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch. If you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. Set to deliver on two and one. And he gets a piece there and chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to two and two now. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, listen, in baseball, we don't see very many complete games any longer because of pitch counts. But listen, he was good from the first inning through the ninth. Well-deserved complete game victory. Eight to two tonight's final. The Seattle Mariners get their 30th win on the road so far this season. Noah Syndergaard picks up his league-leading 13th win, racking up 14 Ks in doing so. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Eight runs on 17 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Blue Jays, two runs on three hits. No errors. They left two men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and ten minutes. A reminder that extra subway trains will be available at the Union and St. Andrews Station. The King Street Streetcar provides access to St. Andrews Station via the ends of John Street or Peter Street. Light rail transit is also available along Queens Key from Union Station.